Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today I want to show you guys one of the quickest ways to make a lot of money in New World. So a lot of you guys have been gathering specific things, maybe it's tier 1 resources, I've talked about that in the past, doing still a fairly great job at making some good money on tier 1 resources or even Azoth water for those tier 5 infused potions. There's a lot of great ways to make money in New World, but this one's going to be one that is relevant for quite some time. Kind of like tier 1 resources, it's the bottleneck of stone cutting. So if we jump over to stone cutting, right now you can see obsidian void stone as the one after stone block stone brick lodestone brick and the tier 5 like I said obsidian void stone is going to require one loamy lodestone well if you didn't know obsidian void stone is needed for things like Lazarus instrumentality orbs so after you're beginning two free orbs that you get for Genesis and Lazarus if you want to make more of these orbs it's gonna cost you and it's gonna cost you 10 rune stone as one of the biggest parts of the tuning orb so how do you make rune stone well it's going to take five obsidian void stones that means for one rune stone you're going to need five five loamy lodestone you're going to need one putrid lodestone for a rune stone and by the way for a lazarus tuning orb you need 10 rune stone so this is unbelievable how much you need so this if you added this up guys that is 50 you need 50 loamy lodestone to make one lazarus tuning orb it's absolutely crazy how that works and you can understand you know jumping through here you need 10 putrid lodestone as well so rune stones you need 10 of them for the lazarus tuning orb if you just do genesis you just need five rune stone but you know a lot of people are, are going to be in high demand for more lazarus tuning orbs because they're going to want to get some of the best gear in the game you know there's very 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 good late game gear that is going to require lazarus tuning orbs to get into the expedition and you're going to want to do these you know lazarus and genesis when you're higher gear score watermark and so right now if we actually take a look at the trading post and we go to loamy lodestone first and if you're just looking to make money off this and not hoard it that's perfectly fine but just an everfall around 2669 is the current price if we look at putrid lodestone which is going to be a very very similar price of 449 at the moment but you have to remember like i said you need 50 of these to actually make uh you know that like i said that rune stone but Future lodestone is going to be a little bit cheaper. However, you know, as demand rises, you're going to see how this actually goes quickly up from 449 up to 999 up to 2969. Like I said, when people are able to start crafting these Lazarus tuning orbs and rune stones, because right now, like I said, guys, unfortunately, tuning orbs are almost impossible to craft unless you're doing a ton of level 55 Azoths, uh, Azoth corrupted portals. Because, like I said, those tier 5 Azoth Corrupted Portals, like these are easy to do. 45s, 55s are easy to do. However, if you go up, like I said, to 65s, you can't do these right now. The Azoth staff is bugged for almost every single player in New World. So some servers have gotten lucky with that. But for the most part, like I said, 65 portals are bugged. So the only way to actually really make tuning orbs at the moment is to do lower tier Azoth portals or sorry not Azoth portals but corrupted portals so right now like I said there are cheap prices on the market I think these are going to rise in value very very quickly once people can actually start crafting these tuning orbs I do want to take a moment to show you guys one of the best locations to grab both so uh, it's a 140 to travel up there. I want to show you that I'm actually bringing my mining gear. By the way, I only have two pieces of mining gear. It's pretty bad. I need to definitely get more. But reinforced uh, mining luck on the hat and then reinforced mining luck on the chest. For some reason, I think I've not kept on to a lot of my stuff. I think it's in different locations. But I'm just going to bring these up to kind of show you guys. You do want to bring all the mining luck stuff you can. I have a mining trophy as well in my house. Uh, I think it's just a minor mining trophy in my house. So that'll help me a little bit as well. And then if you want to go consumables, you want to go to trade skill bonuses, and then you want to go to mining, right? So if you want to make sure you get some good stuff up there while you're doing it, typically potatoes are going to be the best value, around 44 gold per um, on our server. And then if you go one tier up, I believe tier five is pretty crazy yeah it's 97 gold but it is for 40 minutes so it's not a bad value at all probably should have bought that one to be honest just because um you know i'll probably be up there for about 40 minutes so let's go over to great cleave real quick let's just test it out with what we have maybe we should buy how much did i buy I just bought one right it's for 35 minutes so it's not bad i think i'll probably just do one round of it anyway so we'll go up there for 35 well well let's buy one more guys let's buy one more i know i'm going back and forth on this but i'm gonna spend a lot of azoth getting there i might as well uh you know have what i need when i get up there to actually stick around for uh maybe an hour or so so let's grab at least one more we go to uh sometimes you get lost i don't know if this is just me this could be an everyone thing but cooking ingredients is not what we're needing we need cooking crafting resources so what would that be that would be 
I feel like I'm losing it, guys. Here we go. So this would be trade skill, bonus foods. This would be mining. And sometimes, like I said, it's tough for me to get through here, to get through some of these uh, some of these menus. But uh, we got exactly what we needed. We just need one more of those. We'll buy actually one more. I don't know why I wouldn't just select three. But we're going to buy three of them, guys. So now we have three. So we're going to be up there for at least a little bit. We're going to trade over to these right now. I do have stone cutting boots, by the way, in my inventory. Just because at some point I will be stone cutting. And uh, at some point I will be definitely taking advantage of... Let me go there. Okay. I would definitely be taking advantage of actually making the tuning orbs myself. So this is something that uh, I think, you know, is valuable enough to gra craft these Lazarus tuning orbs and then have my company members join me. And I think, you know, being a stone cutter level 200 is going to be a thing that every company values very dearly, like I said, because it's going to get you into not just some of the best late game dungeons, uh, it's going to get you into some of the best things in general when that comes to, like I said, the siren tuning orbs. It comes to all of those. So, you know, you can get all of these different spriggans and all these different enemies to actually take advantage of. And uh, so what we're looking at here, guys, is I'll, I'll put a picture on there for you so you guys can see exactly where we're running right now. But basically down in the glass lake, you're going to have a ton of earth crag. Earth crag is going to give you not just, you know, it's not going to give you just moats, right? It's going to give you a chance at... Uh, what was it called? Earth Crag, I believe, is the Lomi Lodestone. When you talk about Putrid Lodestone, which is the cheaper one, but I think it's going to be still very valuable, that is Blight Crag. And there's a ton of Blight Crag right below the Lomi Lodestone down here. There are better spots, better locations if you're just looking for one or the other, but I'm looking for a little bit of a mix just because, like I said, I'm going to be using these myself so I don't have to actually buy these resources. So I'm going to start at the top, like I said, with some of the Lomi Lodestone and then move down to the Blight Crags, which give you the Putrid Lodestone, which you need, like I said, 50 of those. So we'll see how this all goes. I'm not actually going to probably show you too, too much of the content itself, but I do want to just get down to the lake to maybe start mining a few just so you guys can see maybe me get one of the rare drops, get the Lodestone, get the, uh, the actual drop itself, and uh, then we'll go from there. But as you go down here, there's some Scorched Stone, which, you know, it's never a bad idea, by the way, to pick up anything because obviously there's value and there's uh, good things from all of them. So I did just pop my food, and uh, we'll see what we get here, see if we get anything special. So we got Molten Lodestone, obviously a different kind of Lodestone that can be used uh, in different areas of the game. If we continue on our run down, though, there is going to be, like I said, some, it looks like four on the left side and four on the right side. So let's go to, uh, we're actually kind of closer to the right side, right? So we can actually just jump over this wall or sorry, jump over this cliff, and there should be three lined up right by this infested grove, which is unfortunate. Um, so we'll see. looks like this whole place, by the way, is infested right now, which is kind of unlucky. But we're going to jump over this wall. We're going to see if there's any right in front of us, pretty much. It does look, like I said, right around this area right here. Um, actually, I think I'm a little high still. I think we actually have to go all the way down to here is where they begin to pop up. And that's going to still be, like I said, in a rough spot. We're going to use our flesh to dash through this ram to get a little bit more movement. Uh, but we are very, very close. Just wanted to kind of take you guys through this all the way down here. And if you guys, you know, are still chilling out, like I said, some of the best gear is in these dungeons that you can craft. So if you want to level up stone cutting level later, later on, sorry, uh, you know, there's going to be great opportunities to actually, like I said, make some of the best tuning orbs keys in the game with exactly what we're doing right now. So I think it's a good time to actually take advantage of this and start running these before people actually know what they're used for. That's kind of the same case with Azoth Water. You know, it was at 7 gold until people realized what it was used for, and then it, you know, dipped down in value. We're actually going to kind of mine anything we can see down here, uh, just because, like I said, I have the mining gear on. We might as well take advantage of it. I do need to invest in some better mining gear, but we'll take the Shock Spire real quick, because why not, and then we'll continue on this run forward. So we got Shocking Lodestone from that one. Like I said, all the lodestones have different kind of uses. They're pretty much all valuable. And here is going to be our very, very, very first earth crag. And you can see the next earth crag right ahead of me. And uh, this is, like I said, one of the places that you're going to use to farm. You can see that loamy lodestone coming into play there. Uh, the wolves will attack you, obviously, so you do want to be a highish level if you're coming out here and you don't think you can actually take them out. As I get a sell order for the propane hat, I gotta like that. So another Lomi Lodestone. Looks like every single one is, you know, it's not too hard to get these Lomi Lodestones. Like I said, you get them pretty, uh, you know, fairly easily. They're all over the map. Um, as we get another one, we have three Lomi Lodestone. We're going to go to the side over here. Should be some more Lomi Lodestone for us. And uh, this is the big thing that we're going to do right now is get Lomi Lodestone because Putrid Lodestone, like I said, is much cheaper. So if you're looking for just straight up gold, the best option would definitely be right now for Lomi Lodestone going to get these Earth Crags. Because like I said, what was it on the exchange right now? 20-something gold. 
and I have, what, three of them? So I just made 60 gold in the matter of, what, like, three, four hits. So it's absolutely insane. So, yeah, let me load this, and I have four of them. So I made 80 gold at this point in time. Um, and a lot of people don't know about this. Like I said, if you take advantage of this, uh, hopefully as soon as possible before other people start to realize what they're missing out on with these Lomi Lodestones, uh, definitely, like I said, take advantage of this. I think this is going to be a valuable way to do this for a while because people are going to need this for some of, like I said, the latest and greatest dungeons in the game. So we're going to take the Earth Crag here. Uh, we are going to go up here because I do want moats. Moats is something I'm trying to grab a little bit more of because it'll get me higher um, Arcana, which is needed to actually get and grab more uh when i say get and grab it actually helps you kind of get higher tier stone cutting in a way because you can use those moats to cut gems obviously um you need you need high tier moats for gem cutting so we're going to take that out as well we're going to take this little skele or scavenger i should say and we're going to just show you one mining of where's that i know there's some over here there we go black crag We'll get one Blight Crag, we'll show you the future Lodestone, and we'll probably call it a day right there, guys. I'll continue to mine, but I, I don't think you probably want to watch too much more of this talking and walking around and mining. But uh, like I said, there's going to be a great amount of it in these areas for Blight Crag at the very least um, in these areas. And then if you want to do Earth Crag, like I said, there are better zones. You just go to newworld-map.com, and you can definitely take a look and find some better spots if you're just looking for one or the other. Um, I'll probably, after this food pops, probably just go to farming the more expensive one, the 20 gold, because I can always just sell it, right, and then buy the other future lodestones off the market. So it depends on what you're looking to do, but that's definitely one way to do it. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.